Bimulay 51, turn right, heading 183. Papa, turn right 245, report The Boeing 777X continues to appear in the headlines for lots of different reasons. Today, however, the focus centres around the 777X's role within the industry, and as the title does indeed pose, can the 777X truly replace the Airbus A380? It's an interesting one, something I documented and analysed pretty poorly, if I do say so myself, many, many years ago. However, a lot has developed, not just here on DJ's Aviation, but also within the industry. And at the recently gone Singapore Air Show, we were allowed to have a better understanding of how the 777X will work for some operators, namely the case study and core focus for today's proceedings being at Singapore Airlines. This airline has a very modest order already placed for the 777X series. Total units sit at 31 at the time of recording, with delivery set to commence as soon as generally the 777X is ready to be delivered, like most of the customers who have been waiting since mid-2020. The airline, however, also notably operates the world's largest passenger plane, the A380 as well. In late 2020, the airline announced that it would retire some of its A380s and keep some on due to the effects of the pandemic. However, they are eyeing how to replace these beasts of an aircraft in the long term. The 777X is, according to them, just maybe the answer. The airline plans on offering four classes on their 777X, the Dash 9 variant, when getting into the specifics, the larger of the two options on offer to customers, and what has quickly become the more popular of the two as well, following a very similar trend of the A330neo series, with the Dash 900's dominance at the European aircraft manufacturer. On board the 777-9, the airline will also offer four classes, a first-class product, business, premium, economy, and finally your stock standard economy. As for their upper classes, they'll be introducing suite-style first-class cabins and new products designed to benefit the paying customers jumping on board, with more space, comfortability and luxury all at the top of the pecking order for requirements out of the seat as determined by customers. When interviewing Rob McKinney, the CEO of Northern Pacific Airways, I asked him about the challenges of launching a new airline during a pandemic, which could also apply to any airline that may have struggled. Instead of listing the negatives, he flipped the question and detailed the positives. Singapore has done similar for the pandemic in the sense of the 777X, detailing that the added time has given them the chance to fine-tune their 777X product and make it the best they possibly can. These aircraft were also confirmed by a spokesperson to eventually replace their larger wide-body aircraft when those are due for retirement, and you can undoubtedly interpret that however you wish, but at the moment, when exploring the Singapore Airlines fleet, the average age is relatively young, and as for wide-body aircraft, the only ones that eventually will be needing replacing would be that of the A380s and 777s. The A380 also has four classes, therefore it allows the 777X in a cabin product manner to come in the scene seamlessly. However, it might seem ludicrous for the 777X to replace the world's largest passenger plane at the end of the day, with the A380 having two decks and four engines. However, generally speaking, the A380 has a lot going against it, from the costs to operate it to even the fuel to power those four engines on a regular flight. The 777X, however, with the efficiency and its twin engines, has one up on the 380. Both planes, though, are expensive, nearing close to 450 million USD, so the price doesn't necessarily play the most significant role in this. And generally speaking, when I pose the question, can the Boeing 777X replace the A380, it's important to read closely. For Singapore Airlines, they do see the 777X as a replacement for their wide-body aircraft, including, yes, the 380. However, for another airline, the 777X may not be the ideal replacement. At the end of the day, what we do have to realise is we're never going to get another A380, at least not for the foreseeable future. Airbus is not building the A380+, Plus, so you have to take a step back, especially as an executive, and if you already have the A380 within your operations, look at something that can do a similar mission and compromise. Singapore Airlines has done just that. Equipped with the 350s and 787s, their long-haul fleet is expansive and ready to tackle most needs that the market throws at them. What are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can let me know in the comments. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.